Welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. I am getting ready to try to move a little bit of snow and ice off the driveway. Uh, I need to be able to get my truck and trailer up and down the driveway. And right now the driveway has got about two inches of ice on it. So I'm going to do a couple things. One, I'm going to start up the tractor, but I'm also going to see if I can take the bucket and scrape some of that off. But first, I just want to do this quick little video on doing a cold startup of the Kubota M6060. It's been sitting out here in the snow and ice for the last several days without being started. So I thought some of y'all may be interested in seeing how the Kubota M6060 starts up in really cold weather. So as you can see, the tractor's actually got a few inches of ice on it. So this was started up uh, on Thursday. Today is Sunday, and I ran it for a pretty good while, and it kind of melted the snow and ice off the hood. Uh, from this recent ice storm that we've had but there's still snow and ice on everything and it has not been started up since that thursday but this is usually no big deal it's going to put our key in turn it on you can't really see it right now but there is a light down in there for the glow plug And then you just turn the key on. not hard at all now, if it was really cold temperature maybe where um, the diesel might start to gel up or something and then there might be a little bit more trouble than that starting it up but right now I mean it's in the 20s so it's not extremely cold but it's it's still pretty cold but it's just as matter of just turning it turning the key on letting the glow plugs warm up and then starting it up as you can see behind me we've had this ice storm and there's ice on everything. The trees and everything's just weighted down like crazy. So like I said, I just wanted to do this quick video, show you that cold start. Hope everybody's staying safe out there during all this uh, ice storm and havoc that's going on. There's been thousands of power outages in my area. Uh, there was five trees across the road between my house and the main road, which is only a mile away. So that Thursday I spent most of the day clearing trees out of the road, got out to the main highway just to find out that the main highway was blocked too and the electric company was out there actually working on power lines and getting the trees and stuff down. So I hope everybody stays safe during all this time. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.